For the past several years, I've been using black soldier fry larva to compost food waste. Here's a quick look at how my bin operates and then how I harvest them and turn them into food for my neighbor's chickens. It's all quiet on the Western front, but I do want to give you a sense for just how uh, fast these guys are when it comes to getting after new stuff. I've got a rotten peach, then I'm gonna set down in here sliced off one side of it. I'm gonna put the other side down here next to it. The last of the spinach is rotted. So in all, I've got some food scraps here, the peach, that spinach, and then I added some pineapple that went bad as well. It's probably a little bit slower than normal because it's a cool morning, but once they start generating heat, they get going. Gonna lift up the spinach here and see what's happening underneath. Getting there. All right, that's a couple hours later, and you can see the peach has been flipped over. <laughs> the skin here is on that small slice is turned inside out. They found the pepper. The spinach is gone, and the mango is definitely under a severe attack. This is how they work. The black soldier fry larva are an amazing composter. One of my favorites. It's a warm weather composter here in Georgia. And they'll start slowing down now as temperatures get lower at night. I just have one last thing to do, which is to harvest these soldier fry larva and take them to my neighbor's chickens. The bins at either end here are designed to allow these guys to crawl out and fall down in there. Interesting, there's a lot more on this end than the other end, so it must have had more food on this end of the bin. I usually grab a handful from each batch and toss them into a place where they can hide themselves away until they're ready to become adults. The rest of these guys are going to become chicken candy. Morning birds, got some candy for you. What I think makes me the most happy about this is that this is one way that I can complete the cycle. My food waste becomes food for a insect that then becomes food for a chicken, which then produces eggs that I can then enjoy when my neighbors share them with me. And I do that quite frequently. I like to tell folks that I give my neighbors maggots and they give me eggs. Turning your food waste into chicken candy. That's one way that you can complete this cycle too. As always, my mission is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Saturday.